Have you ever wondered why Connecticut is also nicknamed the Charter Oak State? The Connecticut Charter was the springboard for Connecticut transition from a royal colony to a self-governing colony. So sit back, relax, and listen to one of the greatest legends of our state. Most of the permanent settlers who formed the colony of Connecticut were pilgrims from Great Britain. The pilgrims came to the New World for freedom and free expression of religion. Even though the arrival was met with sadness and harsh weather, they were determined to work hard and make a home in the New World. They thanked God for their freedom and safe arrival. The colonists built homes and called Connecticut their home. Charles II gave them the opportunity to become their own colony, independent of New York and Massachusetts. King Charles II granted Connecticut a royal charter acknowledging Connecticut as a colony. Connecticut's royal charter gave them the ability to establish its very own government. They had finally received this in writing. The Connecticut Charter gave the colonists the opportunity to be a self-governing colony. Connecticut was home and freedom to the colonists. They established new towns within the colony. Charter. The meeting went on past sundown. Since no electricity was around during that time, candles were lit to give light and keep the meeting going. The meeting continued with the Connecticut Assembly and the British representatives, each giving their speeches. Suddenly, the candles were blown out. When the candles were relighted, the Connecticut Charter was missing. What happened to the Charter? As you can imagine, the British representatives were not happy. Sir Edmund Andrus was not amused, but had other plans to attend to. The Charter had been removed and was never returned to the meeting. But is this the end of the story? The mystery needed to be solved! In the end, Captain Joseph Wadsworth had removed the charter and hid it in a great oak tree when the candles were blown out. The colonists' plan was to keep their charter and maintain their independence as a New World colony. 
Connecticut remained a colony, expanded their territory, and was the fifth state to join the Union. Be proud of your state history.